Hey buddy, it's 54 News Star, and today we're going to begin our first episode on how to make an FPS. Uh, basically, it stands for first person shooter. We're going to be doing it in the Copper Cube engine. And this is the demo level to basically show you how it's going to run. So we're going to run under Windows, uh, DirectX 9, 32 bit, textures, and all that stuff. Uh, I need to disable. I, I was setting up for a web game, but I need to disable look only when mouse is clicking. The character is a bit slow for the, um, a little slow on purpose for the web version. So as you can see for first person, he basically just looks around and you control him using the Waz keys. Um, yeah. So that's what we're going to be doing. Nothing too complex in the next uh, scene we're actually going to be doing level construction. But right now we're going to we're going to open up a new um, file and then we're going to basically build a small mini scene and build the actual character and then in the next episode we're actually going to give him a gun so we can actually you know probably do a switch between guns um, pick up items maybe and all that stuff okay so let's get to it All right, so right here we're in our default copper cube scene. I'm going to add in a plane with a tile count. So that means that you can probably, uh, not probably, but you're going to be able to edit say, in case you want a small hill or you want a you know a bomb exploded and you want to show that you know that there's a hole. It's very quick to like and all that stuff. So we're going to set length and width to about 300. Mm, tile count to 6 and repeat the texture. Actually, tile count to. Mm, 20. Repeat texture count. Uh, I see a 6. And then let's add a texture. If we can find one. If not, we'll just go with the generic one. It is a rock. I prefer that one. Okay. And here's our cube. So we're going to put it on top of the ground. Okay, so we're now going to add a camera, create a camera. A first person camera. We're going to slightly put them above the ground. Uh, and it's collision box actually works for what we're going to be doing right now. So we're now going to publish it. He's going a bit fast. We're going to go to behavior, go to 0, 6, rotate speed is going to be 150, um, jump speed 0 or 4, 0 basically disables it, um, now we're going to run it. So he's still going pretty fast but it works for me, his rotate's not too fast. 
and it's jumping is nice and smooth. So this is how you make a basic first person. Let's do some editing of the ground. Since this is a first person, or and we have a terrain, we can't just have a you know a, a totally flat terrain. So I'm going to go into polygon editing, select points, and then I'm going to move said point down a bit, and then the similar thing will go down to the other points. Hopefully with terrain editing and the eff now this is slightly terrain editing. But I would like to have, you know, train editing, like Unity style. I'm going to raise that up a bit in the next engine. Which uh, the creator of the engine said that he will supply with. Supply the next engine with. So, that's going to be pretty cool. Okay, so now this cube, I want a texture. I like that one. And so what we can also do is select multiple vertices and then go to polygon editing. And select triangles. Uh, two points, okay. And does it want to really work? I was hoping to create a, like a, a damaged box. I'll do that. Now you don't have to do what I just there with the Clyde when moved, but uh, because I can actually disable that. And yeah, he's still going to do that. Now what it may do is it may stop your character from going over it totally. Yeah, see, I still went over it. So that's our basic first person, and we have a, a basic terrain to go over. And our next episode, because all, in all of our first, ep all of my first ep episodes, I try to get is kind of real simple. Uh, in the next episode, we're actually gonna be picking up a gun um, or an item, and then ammo for that item. And then uh, developing our level even more. So we're going to add uh, probably some more terrain features. And probably a drop ship. Um, and then probably a, uh, you know, a couple of sliding doors to open into an, a, um, you know, a sci-fi area. And a, a vacant building where monsters are there. And we have our gun to destroy them. So I will be seeing you guys in the next episode, which should be coming up.
pretty soon in the, ne the next uh, day or two. Until then, guys, remember to hit the like button, subscribe button, all that stuff as we delve into creating a full first person sh shooter or adventure game or whatever. Um, in the Copper Cube engine. Bye, guys, and I will see you later.